Hey guys, Taylor here. So I wanted to give a quick intro to IVR Designer and specifically kind of walk walk you through the step-by-step -step process and how you might set up a flowchart. Um, so again, IVR Designer is just an interactive voice response designer. It lets you set up various inbound co call flow systems um, and do all sorts of things. You can do call transfers, um, set up call filters, um, do voicemails, voicemail boxes, you can manage multiple phone numbers, all sorts of fun stuff. So uh, I, I just wanted to take one kind of example and walk through uh, how we might set that up. So let's pretend that we're a small real estate company um, and you know we, we place people in houses and stuff like that. Um, so what you might want to do, for example, is if you know we have five to ten employees and people are on the go, but we still want to have one common inbound number. Um, so what we could do is we'll have this inbound number. Um, so whenever somebody calls this this number, it's going to go into our kind of our flow chart and and uh, however we set it up. So every flow chart has these control elements, and you just drag and drop them on the board, and then you tie them and then you tie them together by just dragging and um, dropping the elements together. Basically, it's really simple. So for example, what we might want to do is when an inbound number is coming in, we could for example put a decision so we'll say if the from number and this is a variable if it, if it has brackets around it, it means it's a variable and it's going to be treated as a variable by the RVI designer system and you can see all the variables here um, if the from equals and let's pretend that this is um, our number so it's somebody with internal to the company so rather than giving them presenting them something like uh, please leave a message or welcome we'll present them kind of custom options because we say oh this person's internal to our company um, so we might want to if if they're internal to the company and they're calling we might want to say okay so if that's true we're going to connect you to a options menu and we'll say press one to check voicemail so you can listen they'll be able to listen to your voicemail or press two to make a outbound call. Um, so then if they press, then we just need to add the menu items. If they press 1, they're going to go to their voicemail box and they'll be able to listen to their voicemail. We just need to set a password on the voicemail box. Um, or if they press 2, they'll act, we'll set it up so they can make an outbound call. And the reason for doing this is when you're making outbound calls from your own phone number, um, it'll show up on their phone as being called from your number, but if you want to call from the business phone number, then you'd place an outbound call um, in this manner. So what we can do is we'll put a capture digits, and what this control does is allows you to basically define a variable, we'll say number to call, and use it later on in the flow. Um, so input the number you would like to call. Um, so now when you call this number it'll come to here and it'll say input the number you'd like to call and you can input the number and then our outbound call will actually be able to call that number see this is our variable here number to call and then if we put brackets around it we've defined it here and then we put brackets around it so we're actually making the call here outbound call so we actually make a call um, so this would allow you to make an outbound call and s set from the number that you're calling. And what we'll want to do is set the caller ID to whatever your phone number is. So we'll say the 469 number. So that'll allow us to make outbound calls. And so this is all well and good, and this will work great for um, <coughs> you know the flow within the company. But what if a client of the real estate company calls? We obviously don't want them to be uh, you know checking the voicemail box or making outbound calls from our system. Uh, but what we would want, and this would be in the decision, if it if it's not uh, uh, this number, we'll want to go into the faults flow, and what we'll probably want to do is present them with some sort of menu. Um, an, an example of this would be press one for sales, press two for technical support, or dial your party's extension at any time. So then obviously they press one or two, they go to certain phones or at any time they could also 
ha press an extension. So what you could do within a company is assign all of your employees an extension. Uh, we'll just say, for example, 321 is an extension, 322 is an extension, um, 324 is an ex 424 is an extension, and all these extensions will also go to um, whatever employee you would like them to go to. Um, so another thing that we could do on top of this is let's say um, let's say they press one for sales, they go to the sales number, whatever number this is, blah blah blah, um, and this person picks up. I'm going to close this out just to make it look cleaner. Um, and this person picks up within the call, um, but then you realize they want to uh, talk to somebody, you know, somebody else within the company. So what you'll say is uh, add an in-call control, and what that will allow you to do is with the, actually within the call, you can just press star 1 or star 2 and redirect to whatever, um, whatever phone number you'd like. So that's a really cool way to handle kind of call forwarding. Um, the other thing you could do within here is we might want to add a, um, a time filter, for example. So let's say that before they even come before they even come to this options menu, if it's if it's um, between 9 a.m. or 5 and 5 p.m. Well, th this will default to true, and we'll send them to this option menu. But if it's not, we'll actually let's add a capture voicemail. If it's false, we'll say sorry, we're closed now. Please leave a message, and then this will let them leave a message. Um, so this is just an example of a call flow that you could set up, and it would allow people to make inbound calls, leave voicemails if it's not the right time, check your voicemail um, if it's you calling, um, do some other sort of fun stuff within here. And you can really customize all of this and um, set it up however you want. Uh, it's, it's really flexible, so just see what you can do with it and give it a try. Um, and it w it's going to work right out of the box, too. So as soon as you start, you're going to be able to call this phone number. Um, just, just try it. It's the best way to do it. Just actually make the call and you'll you know you'll hear it speaking to you and talking back to you and so just as you're building it keep keep making the calls and stuff so that's basically the the basics of IVR designer check it out feel free to uh, give us feedback we're online most of the time um, so just go to the website and we're online or contact us at contact at IVR designer uh, dot com or obviously just give us a call thanks and bye for now